I'm Big Will Levinson, and it's time to talk sports. Well, folks, after a terrific high school baseball season that saw the Palisade Bulldogs be crowned regional champions, amongst many other great moments, today players from across the state were honored for their great play. All four Grand Valley schools had players mentioned in Chassa's All-State list, including three from the Palisade Bulldogs. Congratulations to Kian Kinslow on being named All-State second team in 4A. He led the dogs with 39 RBIs this season. And congrats to Hunter Howard and Easton Embry on being named All-State honorable mention. Howard led Palisade in hits, runs, home runs, and batting average with a 469, and he hit a huge walk off a month ago to down Coleridge. Easton Embry, meanwhile, did it at the plate and on the mound. He led the dogs with 67 strikeouts this season. Joining them as honorable mentions in 4A Grand Junction's Will Applegate, Montrose's Gage Wareham, Central's Riley Nostrand, who signed with Utah State Eastern. And in 5A, the Fruit of Wildcats, who finished 19 and 5, had three players on the All State honorable mention list Colton Hicks. Parker Noah and pitcher Lucas Weaver, who threw a no hitter against the GJ Tigers. And a big congrats to Logan Gross of Rifle, who was named second team All State in 4A. And in pro baseball, the Grand Junction Jackalopes are back in the win column, ladies and gentlemen. And this looks like the Jackalopes from 2023. 16 runs on the day for the Lopes. Prior to this game, the most runs GJ scored in any game was just eight. So they doubled that in a huge 16 to 14 win over the Owls. And of course, the Lopes, well, they couldn't get it done without a bit of a scare. The Owls scored six runs in the ninth to get within two, but the Lopes escaped to, gr escaped to grab their fourth win of this season and finally find success at the play and in Boston it was game one of the NBA Finals and boy the Boston Celtics just kept on doing what they've done all postseason long play their game and dominate they made the Mavericks look like a shell of the team we've seen on playoffs as Boston cruises to a game one victory 107 to 89 and take the all important one game to none series lead. And folks, a reminder that the Stanley Cup final begins this Saturday at 6 p.m. down in beautiful Sunrise, Florida, just minutes from where I grew up. It's going to be a great one. The Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers. It should be a spectacular series beginning this Saturday. That's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.